it's not as bad as we were looking at when we were coming back in from Tijuana. So this has been a little bit of an eventful day. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. This morning, Catalina and I got some computer work both to do, so she's already up there. She headed up ahead of me, and I'm going to head up to the cafe now where the internet connection is supposed to be a little better and work on some stuff. Figured what the hell, it'd be a nice time to show you around over there. In here there's a tent section as well. So if you're just into doing some regular camping with a the tent, they also have the ability to do that with this membership here. And it's pretty cool that there's a couple of different pools, one for the kiddies and then one more for the adults. So a lot of us RVers, we don't just want to hang out in the RV park in the RV. And it's kind of nice to have little social events, especially if you're a full timer on the road. And so the board here at Pio Pico has kind of those happenings and opportunities to get together with folks. I'm almost over here to the cafe and activity center. Let's get heading up the hill. is in the building here but we have multiple things to go and kind of do some stuff there's things for the kids and then you also have a pool table back here and a ping pong table to have a good time let's head on into the cafe so we have the little library of sorts Here's the cafe. I'll go ahead and show you guys the menu here in a second. There's the pretty lady hammering away on the computer. The hours here, basically every day, seven to three. And then on the weekends, it's seven to seven. Here's a quick look at the menu. According to the lady over here, the uh, internet in the cafe sucks too. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go make a run into town to Starbucks to get stuff taken care of before we go to work. All oh, right, I got to rush right back to the RV park. <laughs> so the batteries that I'd ordered yesterday, they went ahead and delivered them, which is absolutely fantastic. But at the same time, I don't happen to be there and they dropped them off at the back of the tires at the RV. All right, guys, here are the batteries. So got four new Trojan batteries here from a dealership here in San Diego. I may be doing some stuff together with them on these different battery types that they carry and give you guys a better idea of the differences and everything but the t105s are going to go directly into the rv and these are pretty much the best value that i have found out on the market as far as amp hours versus cost and rated cycles so the other two here i have are the T605s. Those are super interesting to me because they happen to be Trojan's lower end line, but they're designed to be able to take 500 cycles to completely flat, you know, 100% discharge. And that's pretty much unheard of with the lead acid batteries. So they could be extremely interesting f first battery choices for new RVers. Got the batteries inside the RV where they're safe. Time to head back over there to Starbucks. <laughs>
All right, guys, so back over here, gonna head over into uh, Starbucks and get to Good morning, everybody. It's time to go ahead and get out of the park again today. I am trying to get the new batteries here installed. Uh, first step I did here is I added some DI water. If you see down in there, just to make sure that it was over the top. I did that to all the cells. Make sure everything was good. Had them all charged up before I put them in. When you go ahead and do that, you need to make sure it's actually distilled water. And what that means is that it's basically been evaporated off and then recondensed. So there's no ions in there. There's no minerals. There's nothing, just water in there. So I almost forgot and I got in and started working away right here. I am disconnecting the batteries. As you can see, I already taken the negative and the positive off. And I'm gonna be taking this uh, connection that's in series off to be able to put the new batteries in. And then uh, I'm gonna see if I can bring these batteries back to life. Just to let you guys all know, before I started that, I turned the batteries completely off. So I disconnect them from the coach so I didn't get any kind of zapparoo. Now this guy's pretty corroded. Before I go to attempt to use this guy on our new batteries, I'm gonna clean her up and I'm gonna clean the other battery terminals as well. Actually, upon further inspection, I may need to just go get a different cable that's a lot of cleanup it looks like the corrosion's gotten down underneath the insulation there i don't really want to put that one back on now looking at this guy thinking that might need to be taken off too that it's pretty bad it's back underneath the insulation yuck Got a pretty good throw here, it looks like. Looks like I could get away with cutting some of the battery cable off here. I don't have as much play in the negative terminal, so it looks like I'll probably need to clean that one up, but the negative doesn't look as bad. From what I understand, when you have a lot of corrosion, like a lot of corrosion on the positive terminal, it's usually because it was getting overcharged. So while it was sitting there in Phoenix, plugged in the whole time, I'm sure that it was just getting charged, charged, charged. It was never allowed to discharge or anything like that. So I'm sure it did a number on the positive side of that battery. You, you, you cannot do anything before you, you have the cable? Not much really, because the biggest part of the pork is probably gonna be to the positive cable in there. It's so corroded that I think I need to go and see about getting a new uh, terminal to put on it. And uh, I could do a little bit to that black cable to clean it up, but I mean, it's going to be a few minutes at best. And we need to take the van in anyway, so it would be like efficient if instead of me just driving into town, if we drove in together and I could, you know, you could drive the car, I'll drive the van and I'll drop the van in town. That would be the most efficient way to do it so that we're not wasting a bunch of extra gas. So are you telling me that you don't wanna go run in? Hello? No, I can't go, but I need you to put my clothes on. Yeah, I understand. I just didn't know if you were getting up to get even ready to go. Hi. 
How long do you think you'll need? Catalina, how long do you think you'll need? Hello? Like maybe 15 minutes? I'm gonna wait on uh, Carolina to get up and then uh, roll in with her because we gotta take both vehicles in and then I'll need to go ahead and drive the RV in town. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait on her to get up here and see if I can't get these batteries out without dropping them on my feet. <laughs> Not all that much fun. <laughs> Looks like these were a decent sized battery originally. Looks like it was 232 amp hours, 120 minutes at 75 amps was the rating. They look a little beat up. I'm gonna make sure these new ones get taken a lot better care of. While Carolina's getting ready, I go ahead and mix up some baking soda for that black terminal there. I mixed up some uh, baking soda here in this water so I'm going to use that to clean up that negative terminal. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you since uh, I'm underneath the hood here that I installed this new 27 series battery for the coach the start battery here. Uh, the uh, <laughs> positive terminal was pretty much welded to the positive post over there and so I had to cut it all the way off when I pulled the other battery out and I put this new terminal on and I cleaned everything up and then I went ahead and I used some electrical tape to uh, tape up where it had been a little bit exposed on the terminal that comes from the hydraulic leveling jacks there. I spent a good while cleaning up this negative post and then I used a basically a corrosion resistant material. It's just an oil based spray that I put on the terminals. Got the batteries in there i had to kind of do it in a rush and stuff i'm going to get a different shorter uh throw here for the in series cable i don't like it that long the shorter the better because the shorter the throw the less resistance so i'm gonna take care of that later but at least i got them all logged in there we're running out of time right now to get out of the rv park <laughs> Catalina made a wrong turn and we were really close to the border when we were going to the O'Reilly's to get the cable. We ended up in Tijuana and then I had to wait for an over an hour to come back in and then when we came back in they sent us through secondary. <laughs> a quick run for a cable ended up turning into three hours. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, it's guys. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. We come a long way from where we began. Oh, I tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see.